Please help me welcome Bernie Miller. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon. As I was driving down here, I kind of knew that I had the, the 230 trough in your body temperature and that you'd all probably you know, be pretty drowsy. I did want to stop at Starbucks and get everybody a coffee, but I kind of looked at you know, my wallet. That was a little cost prohibitive. So I'm going with the, uh, I'm going with the lecture brick approach, OK? So you know, if I see you falling asleep, your head bobbing, you know, you might catch a brick, all right? And, uh, you know, you're taking your chances because way in the back, if I have to, and I might hit somebody on the way, so try to stay alert, okay? And I forgot my slide clicker. Thank you, sir. Whoops. I don't have any conflicts of interest or financial considerations for any manufacturers of CPAP devices, although sometimes I, maybe I wish I did. But Anyway, uh, that's a picture of my son, Sergeant Mason Miller, that was taken in Afghanistan, and he's returned safely home. I always like to start my lectures off with that because he's kind of my hero. So, All right. Um, thank you. It's kind of interesting, as I was looking up some stuff for women, I ran across this, and this really doesn't have a lot to do with uh, my talk, but it does have a lot to do with the future of healthcare for all of us here in this room, and that the data is, the amount of data that's going to be available, it's, it's going to be amazing. If you look at that top statement, six billion nights. So they had a Fitbit with an algorithm that used heart rate and, and movement to pick up sleep, and they had six billion nights to analyze. That's just amazing to me. I thought I had to share that, you know. Uh, but what, uh, what they came up with is that the sleep staging in men and women was about the same, or at least in the rudimentary way that they do it. Uh, but uh, women slept about 24 minutes more than men. And that's six billion nights. So um, how many of you have experience with positive airway pressure with CPAP devices? So like six, <laughs> I'm sure you're all going to see patients with CPAP because we treat a lot of them. I know uh, we're not the only lab in the United States. So these are some of the travel CPAP devices. Dr. Tashman actually did mention one and had a picture, but I put that in my uh, goodie bag too here. <laughs> 